Hi everyone and welcome to Keith Does Stuff. It's our first Wednesday together where I'm going to do a question and answer. I asked on Tumblr and on Twitter uh, questions about romance and uh, love and dating and all those sorts of things and I got a whole bunch of questions. I'm not going to do that thing where I put the question on the screen just because I want to have the least amount of editing here as possible. What is the phone etiquette on a date? Don't use your phone. I think that's pretty pretty nice not to use your phone unless unless you get a phone call that your mom is dying or your house is on fire or your horse has been shot. So yeah, mostly just don't use it unless there's some sort of catastrophe. How do you know if a date is going to lead to sex so you know whether to get the last train? I like you. You're, you're my kind of person. First, I suggest using body language. Do 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 the do the sultry eyes. Uh, do the touching of the knees, you know, have, have your knee touching their knee, put your hand on his or her thigh, and if none of these things get any sort of positive reaction back, you should probably, I, I wouldn't even wait for the last train, take like, you know, the six o'clock train, really. If you do not take the last train, if you stay overnight, how do you politely ask for cab fare home? I mean, I don't really think there's a polite way to ask that. This isn't, I mean, this isn't a Jane Austen novel. You're not wearing, you're not getting up and putting on your corset and your, your billowy dresses. Um, you, you are, you are going home with someone with the intent of having sexual relations, waking up and asking for them to pay for you to go home. Uh, so, I just, I just suggest asking, can, can I have, can I have ten dollars so I can go home? Thanks. Can internet relationships end happily? Does distance ever work out? Or is it better to just stay friends? First of all, it's really weird to me when people say, can relationships end happily? Because that means end. That means someone's dead, or the relationship is over. So, I mean, I guess they can end happily after like a week or two. We're dating now over the internet. Now we're not. Or, uh, the only time I would ever suggest a long distance relationship or a internet relationship or anything like that is if there's an end point, if there's an end in sight where you plan on moving together or if you, let, let's say you're both from the same hometown but you've gone away to college somewhere else and you plan on coming back, but the situations like that I think are fine but only if at some point you are going to be physically in the same place because otherwise it's, it's just pretend. What do you think about first dates where the other person cooks for you? I think it's weird. Um, I, I suggest as a relationship and dating expert to go to a coffee shop and then move to like a, a restaurant location or something like that because if you're going over to someone's house, A, they could murder you. B, they have a whole bunch more uh, expectations on them. C, it's just really awkward because they're saying they're cooking and you want to help, but they're cooking for you and you want to help put out stuff and then clean up after. It's all just, it's, it's really awkward for a first date. I suggest stay away. Danger, danger. Do you think chemistry is important to grant a second date? Yes. If there's no chemistry on the first date, unless he is really, really intelligent or has a really fat wallet, I do not suggest sticking around for that one. Find someone else. What is your idea of a disaster date? Being murdered. How young is too young? Well, where I'm from in North Carolina, what you do is you take your age, 22, minus three years, so that's 19. Anything younger than that is too young. You'd go to jail. My boyfriend wants to take naked pictures of me, but I'm scared he'll show them to other people. But he really seems into it. What should I do? Well, relationships are about trust. And if you don't trust your boyfriend not to show all his pervy friends your boobs, don't take naked pictures. It's, it's really simple. Some people would say, well, get a naked picture of him, and then you'll have uh, sufficient usage against each other. But boys don't care. He doesn't care. So, yeah, just don't get naked and take pictures. That's, like, really good advice for everyone, really, because no matter what, you're going to take those pictures, and they're going to end up on Tumblr. So don't. I don't want to see them. Other people on Tumblr don't want to see them. Just don't. I want to experiment with food items during sex. What are some sexy things I can do with food? Let me show you.
Alright, thanks everyone. I will be putting up a video on Friday. Today I went to the Harry Potter Leavesden Studios thing, which was really, really incredible. Any of you within like any number of hours away from London should really check it out. It's really just, it was really amazing. But I'll have a video up with that on Friday, and on Monday I'll have another vlog. So, see you later. Subscribe, please. <laughs> Oh, we did for filming. I'm ready to be upset if that wasn't filming. <laughs>